Hello and welcome to Global Queen. Uh, my guest today is Mr. Puneet Goenka, MD and CEO of Z Entertainment. Mr. Goenka, thank you very much for joining us on Global Queen. It's my pleasure of having you. Uh, you know, your announcement last evening took everyone by surprise. So I just want to start off by what was the rationale of putting out that announcement where promoters are going to sell 50% of the stakes? So see, one is that we did not want any speculations to take over uh, given all the uncertainties of the stock market as they exist today. Secondly, the SEBI insider trading norms itself uh, uh, cause call for us to, to declare this given that it's a very, very significant development when it comes to the promoter family. Mm. You know, you, the announcement says that you're going to take a strategic review of this uh, entire portfolio and as, as a result of which this entire decision to sell 50% of promoter stake comes in. Uh, what prompted uh, you to select Z Entertainment? So I think uh, we look at it from the perspective as to our ambition at Z Entertainment is truly to be a, a global uh, media powerhouse mm. catering not just to South Asians but going beyond that audience as well. Our other media assets of the group are confined due to laws and regulations to remain constrained to the Indian market. And therefore, Z Entertainment is our conduit for fulfilling our ambitious plans. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh we are in an environment where a lot of disruption is happening in media and telecom industry and there is a convergence which is happening right. both of both that. Uh, we are seeing also the fact that people are looking for content players mm -hmm. globally uh, and uh, you know, and in that process, I, what is we are seeing it is, is the Z is selling off its content platform by 50% and going for a distribution platform. Uh, what exactly is the global plan for Z? Because Z already is there in multiple countries, right? So Z is currently catering to the South Asians very, very well. We are repurposing our content for local audiences for several markets. But we believe that uh, we need certain strategic interventions when it comes to leveraging on a strong partner to get our reach beyond the current diaspora of uh, 1.3 billion viewers that mm -hmm. we have. Uh, we truly believe that a, a strategic partner can add the technology reforms to our platform to take it to the next level of, mm -hmm. of growth. And and we were if we were to do it on our own, it, it would take us much longer. And and the probability of success in the Southern South Asian diaspora is, is uh, not at all challenged, but the other areas could be. But therefore we believe that for the benefit of the minority shareholders, uh, diluting at the parent level the minority shareholder further would not be right and, and the promoters are therefore demonstrating their intent, their commitment to this business by saying we are willing to give half of our shareholding, up to half of our shareholding to the strategic partner. Now you mentioned the fact that you want to make Z Entertainment a tech media company. Now that's that opens up the entire gamut of who, are, who could be the investors and in the investor call as well you were trying to highlight what could be the potential, you know, profile of that investor? Uh, who all? Since South Asia is, you already have a good hold on South Asia. Uh, the regions left is Europe and uh, America. Uh, so the potential partners would be from those regions. Well, Europe, USA, even China is a big market which is uh, still untapped mm -hmm. by us. So it could be anywhere. So you're saying that you're open to Chinese internet companies taking up half the 50% uh, of your promoter stake or maybe... We want to first see what is the value addition that any strategic partner wants to do to our business. No, because you mentioned in the phone call that you already have some proposals which have come in. We have interests that have come in. There, there so are people what who... What profile of those uh, interests which has come? They are tech companies largely. Largely with no content backing. Well, they have some content but not, not enough I guess for the Indian diaspora per se. Okay, and you expect the entire thing to have be completed in six months period, right? We are expecting at least binding offers to come in and binding uh, deals to happen by that time. Mm -hmm. Then depending on the profile of the strategic partner, we may require certain regulatory approvals, etc., which may take slightly longer. Because in the entertainment space, you have up to 100% stake Correct. allowed in FDI, right? Uh, and any strategic partner that comes in, uh, if you say 50% of promoter holding is going to be somewhere around 21% odd, that doesn't give them either a strategic 
position in a company or uh, or decision making position in a company so are you open to increasing uh, if if the partner says so at this stage no i think we are looking at an equal partnership given that we've managed to build the business to this level hmm. uh, on our own and i would expect any strategic partner to give us show, show us that respect that we are capable of addressing the south asian market mm. uh, uh, in a manner that that we can continuously expand and the value that they add to us is to take us beyond the south asian to make z atm in a tech media company you will need to have an infusion of capital or investment in technology right even if the partner comes in right. the investment has to happen in the company to expand its reach uh, if that is a the case then you promoters will again have to build in uh, that kind of uh, Uh, or bring in the capital for that purpose right to maintain that uh, uh, so the tech part of the business will be done at a step down subsidiary which is z5 okay right so from that perspective uh, the promoters may choose to bring capital back into the business or we may dilute down at the sub, uh, subsidiary level giving higher control to the strategy through a step down approach so why not look at a strategic partner for z5 rather than z entertainment because of the intricacies of the content linkages between the two because z5's dependence on content is largely through zeal hmm. and therefore the times that the strategic partner at z5 level would want it's easier for us to bring somebody at z level hmm. who buys the story of z5 along with z entertainment hmm. you know the press release was very uh, clear on the fact that the group as a whole is looking at priorities of capital allocation Uh, I just wanted to know what is the realignment of these priorities because on the roads you are trying to cut down your road projects, solar and transmission you are trying to sell it off. Uh, then there are very little amount of infra projects left within the SL group right. for the SL group, Payak and other mining and other uh, entities which are there. So what is the new priority of capital allocation for SL group? No, there have been. You see, SL group considers a lot of businesses going forward. We are a large family. and therefore i'm not at liberty to diverge those things we we did talk about that we considered one business called the semiconductor business but you said you'd need more capital for that so you you didn't we, go for it you right? didn't go for that yeah but there are enough uh, other new age media businesses not media sorry tech businesses that the group would like to consider mm -hmm. and and while we are restricting this conversation to the z entertainment strategic mm -hmm. intent uh i think the sl group conversation should be another conversation separately no, i understand that because i just want the investors to understand uh, the capital uh, so the two are not linked uh, they're linked in the sense that uh, your entire foray into other segment is backed by the strong balance sheet of z no uh, they're not sorry uh, in in terms of shares have been pledged or you know every rating agencies uh, you know say that it is backed by a flagship brand which is z or a dish tv which is which, which well, is they say that the they are they are judging the company in the wrong manner yes the pledge do stand and they have gone up beyond what is comfortable levels for us hmm. we have already put in a plan for for deleveraging the group from the pledge levels as i talked about hmm. during my conference call as well where the the assets that you just talked about which are being hmm. divested uh, from that perspective the two are to be considered very very independent okay. so Can you give us some flavor of how big is the SL Group in terms of revenues and uh, debt? Because that was one of the concerns which was raised in the con call as well, right? Again, I think we are digressing from the Just discussion of Z and it. There will be uh, questions raised on why suddenly it, it is hap happening. Uh, we know infra is a. Uh, well, if the people have made up their mind that this is happening for a certain reason, I can't help it. I am trying to project to you that this is happening because we want to bring a strategic partner. for the betterment of z entertainment mm -hmm. if you want to believe otherwise i can't help it no uh, i was just wanted to understand one fact of it, the capital allocation policy which you have brought in from a group level and i know you will talk about it is it any way linked to a, a broader uh, succession planning within the group uh what do you mean when you mean succession planning in the sense that you know to align the said, it's a large group right and we have a lot of family members and and we will diversify into several businesses going forward hmm. we are not going to stop at at where we are today 
So for that, if capital allocation needs to be realigned, it will be realigned for uh, Mr. Modi was talking about uh, uh, that it is going to be a kind of uh, bidding which will be there. Basically, it's a road show where uh, the potential partners will come in. Uh, how uh, confident are you about the kind of technology partners who are going to envisage interest and the kind of global reach? Because that was one thing which you emphasized in Absolutely. the call, Absolutely. that you know, global reach, to reach will be and technology will be the key things to decide on who we interact or uh, you know go ahead in the yeah, those two will be the prime objectives beyond uh, I mean the bedding piece is a separate matter altogether our first uh, alignment is, is who brings most value from the two angles of technology as well as the global reach for us. Mm -hmm. And that will be the deciding factor. So is there a model which you are thinking in your mind, think that I want a Z to be a model modeled on a Netflix or a Amazon or, or be a uh, uh, you know, internet-based Alibaba kind of model? No, there is no... Which there would be some strategic dis uh, in a discussion would have happened saying that let's model the company for the future in this manner, right? I think we are still too early to talk about those details, but we can divulge more when, as the things progress further. Mr. Goenka, thank you very much My for pleasure. your invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.